So you guys beg for it and I'm going to deliver. And that's why today I'm bringing you guys the ultimate Salamangrate guide. That's right. In this guide, we're going to be discussing text. We're going to be discussing counters. We're going to be discussing combos. And also what I think is the best deck list for the current format. And on this guide, I'm going to add a section that's going to be dedicated to the theory behind this deck. So basically what this deck tries to accomplish going first or what it tries to accomplish going second and this is going to be the time frames for all the sections in this guide so you can always know where to go uh, in the future but as always guys this is Yara here and if you haven't already please hit that like button hit that subscribe button it motivates me a lot to keep this channel going but as always this is Yara here and now let's get started with this ultimate Salamangrate guide let's go Thing, guys so this is uh, gonna be the theory section of the video so um, this is what this deck tries to accomplish going first right you either want to set up an appaloosa uh just like an appaloosa because against certain matchups like drytron or virtual an appaloosa is enough to win the game basically so that's one option you have you can set up an appaloosa you can also set up a relinked wolf with like a like a trap card like the rage so you'll be able to pop two against decks like zoo this is very strong or against decks like prank kids popping the normal summon is huge so uh you want to set up a relink wolf going first uh also going first you want to set up a rank four something like a dweller or a bagushka or a time thief redoer against uh the control matchups uh those are what will help you win those matchups like dweller is very good against stuff like dragon link prank kids and so many matchups that are graveyard reliant so setting up a rank four is going to be one of your goals going first another one will be bagushka bagushka is good against decks like zoo uh because they won't be able to attack you for the most part so um yeah that's what you want to do going first or you want to set up either a rage or a roar uh rage is able to pop multiple cards if you have a relinked monster or you can just pop one card uh, by sending one salamangri monster as cost and the roar is an omni negate so uh you don't need a relink uh salamangrate to be able to activate roar you just need a linked sa uh, linked monster salamangrate so it could be a bailings or a wolf or whatever so uh this is what you're gonna be trying to accomplish going first of course you're gonna you're not gonna be able to set up all of them unless you draw like absolutely crazy but uh setting up at least one of these going first will be huge okay so uh, and then for the going second i'm gonna go put everything back when you when you're trying to go second your main goal will be to uh go into the update jammer and into the access code this is gonna be your goal going second because you, you're gonna be able to pop multiple cards uh and access code is gonna be able to attack twice and i'm gonna show you guys that in the combo a section at the end of this video but it's gonna be your going second goal right um you might be able to like shuffle back a monster or two with uh helio if you use them as link material uh just remember that whenever you activate the helio effect i mean the the mirage value effect whenever you activate the mirage value effect to special man uh, you won't be able to go into this because uh, you're locked into uh, effect from fire monsters for the remainder of the turn. So keep that in mind. But you can, however, use the put back to hand effect. So uh, yeah, that's going to be what you're going to try to accomplish going second. And now let's go to the card by card section. All right, this is going to be the card by card section. I'm going to explain each card and what it does and like their restrictions and everything so yeah let's go so salaman great gazelle which is considered to be the best card in the deck uh what this does is whenever a salaman great monster is sent to the graveyard it doesn't even have to be from the main deck it can be from hand or from deck um except during the damage step you can special summon a gazelle from your hand and then um once it gets special summoned or normal summoned, you are able to dump any Salomon Great card that you want, either monster or trap card or spell card. So it's an extender slash a foolish burial goods or a foolish burial. So that's why this card is so good. Uh, you're gonna if you open this, you almost always feel happy. So, and of course, both of uh, Gazelle's effects are hard once per turn. So keep that in mind you, you won't be able to activate it multiple times per turn each effect you can however activate both effects in the same turn so um 
Now we're gonna go with Spinny. What Spinny does is that you can discard this card, then target one face up monster on the field. It gains 500 attack until the end of the turn. So you can activate this during the damage step because it's an attack booster. And also, if you control a Salamon Great monster other than Salamon Great Spinny, so keep that in mind, you can special summon this out from the graveyard and it gets banished once it leaves the field. So uh, if you only have Spinny on the field, you cannot special summon out Spinny from the graveyard because it has to be other Salamon Great monster other than spinning so uh, just keep that in mind so then we're gonna go with foxy foxy has two effects uh the first one being it, it's um sort of like an area zero you can look at the top three cards of the deck and then if one of those is a salamon great card you can add it to your hand that's you can only activate this when it's normal summoned uh the second effect is that you can if you control a face up spell or trap card on the field if, if there's a face up spell or trap card on the field you can pitch a salamon great card from your hand and special summon this and then you have the option to pop a face up spell or trap card on the field so this is good to out stuff like there can only be one or any of those uh continuous spells and trap cards that you want to get rid of so that's your out to those cards and keep in mind that you can only activate one of foxy's effects per turn so if you choose the normal summon effect to look at the top three cards then you cannot activate the second effect which is the special summon from grave effect so a little thing to keep in mind when you're playing this deck or when you're playing against this deck so uh then we're gonna go with falco falco also has two effects uh one uh, when it gets sent to the graveyard you can target a salaman great spell or trap card that's in the graveyard you can set that card to the field and the other effect is that you can target a salaman great monster you control except falco and return that to the hand and if you do special summon this card right so uh and you you can only activate one of falco's effects per turn so you cannot activate multi multiple of them so you gotta choose which one to do so uh this is very good to recur stuff like your circle your rage and roar from the graveyard um doesn't matter how it's sent even if you detach it from an xyz you can still activate the effect so little thing to keep in mind then we have the jaguar jaguar uh has two effects one of them is like a passive effect where if it attacks a defense position monster you inflict piercing damage so um another thing is that uh if you control a salamon great link monster while this card is in the graveyard you can target one salamon great monster in your graveyard except jaguar shuffle that into the deck and if you do a special summon this card to a zone your salamon great link monster points to so and it's of course the hard ones per turn so uh this is gonna be like one of your uh best cards in the deck because it helps you in the grind game like uh, that's why you don't want uh this to get banished off of stuff like desires or diddy crow or stuff like that because this is basically what keeps you in the game you can recycle back your link monsters or your or your your main deck monsters or whatever you want so uh this is one of the crucial cards in the deck so it's also an extender as well so uh, then we have the Flame Buffalo. This is not a Salaman Great monster, but it's in every single Salaman Great deck. It is so good. Uh, if this face up card leaves the field, you can discard one Cybers monster, and all your Salaman Great monsters are Cybers. And if you do draw two cards, so it's a pot of greed, uh, you can only activate this effect once per turn. Another thing to keep in mind is that it does not send a, uh, it does not discard a Cybers monster as cost. So what you have to do is like do you have a do you have a response you ask your opponent if they don't then you discard one then you draw two and it doesn't have to hit the graveyard either so uh even if you're under d shifter and this gets banished you can still activate the effect so uh then we have the c archiver c archiver it says if a monster is no more special summon to a zone a link monster points to except during the damage that you can special summon this card from your graveyard even if it was there when this cards or hand even if not but banish it when it leaves the field so it's similar to something like a spinny i like opening spinny plus uh c archiver because that's a for sure way to get to mirage stallion your normal summon a spinny go into bay links then uh you activate spinny effect to special summon it under the link arrow of uh bay links and then c archiver activates in your hand so uh, yeah, and it leaves the field. A uh, little thing to keep in mind is that Spinny and Sea Archiver, they both leave the field. And once, they, once they both leave the field, they get banished. Uh, one way to avoid them getting banished is by overlaying them both into Mirage Stallion. And that, that way, even if they leave the field, they won't get banished. So 
because they're no longer in the field right so then we have the lady debug a lot of people just run one of lady debugs because um uh this is good now uh for the most part but once ogre becomes popular this card is so bad because uh, i remember back in the days you would just normal summon this activate effect hits with it gets hit with an ogre and then you just kind of have to pass turn so yeah, but this can give you access to Gazelle. Just keep in mind that it only searches a level 3 or lower Cybers monster. So you cannot search something like a Jaguar or a Falco. So it has to be level 3 or lower. So from deck to hand. So, But this gives you access to Gazelle. So what most people run is 3 Buffaloes and 1 Debug. That's like the ratio that a lot of people like to run. Then we have the Sign and Mining. Um, it says send 1 card from hand to graveyard. It doesn't have to be a Salamon Grove great card it could just be any card add a level four lower cybers monster from your deck to your hand so you can add any of the salamander game monsters so you can add something like a lady debug or a flame buffalo so uh the salamander circle circle is one of the best cards that i'm hoping comes back to two or three it has two effects uh one of them being that you can add any salamander monster from deck to your hand so a little thing to do with this is that you want to activate this during the draw phase that way you won't get hit with stuff like droll uh, because you cannot activate Droll in the draw phase, so uh, so you can add any Salamon Great uh, monster from deck to hand. So you can add whichever one you need. You're usually gonna want to go for Gazelle because you want access to Gazelle as fast as possible. So and the second effect is that you can target one Salamon Great Link monster you control that was Link Summon using a car using a monster with its same name as material. That Link monster is unaffected by monster effects this turn except this turn. So this is good, especially against. Uh, Nibiru uh, later on in the game because um, as you're relinking, uh, they're gonna want to activate Nibiru from hand uh, before you get to the battle phase. And you just chain this and you can protect like a relinked Salamander monster. So it's a little cool thing that you want to keep in mind. You can only activate one of Circle's effects per turn, but since it's a quick spell, you can activate once during your turn, then once during the opponent's turn if you if you have access to it again. So. This card's pretty good. Then we have the Sanctuary. So you can search this off of Bailings. Uh, what this allows you to do is that once per turn, only once per turn, so keep that in mind, you can relink one of your Silent Main Great monsters. Um, so, uh, and also it has the, another effect that says that during damage calculations, if your opponent battles, you can pay uh, 1,000 life points, then target one link monster you control, make its attack zero. And if you do gain life points equal to its original attack, uh, you can only use each effect of Salem and Grace Sanctuary once per turn. So both of the effects are hard once per turn. So you might be wondering why in the world would you want to make your uh, Link monsters attack zero during damage calculations? Well, uh, it's very good versus stuff like Contact C. So like let's say you activate Contact C on uh, your opponent and they have a hard time playing... Uh, with contact C on their side of the field. So they're going to want to crash the contact C into your monster, into your link monster, um, into your sunlight wolf or whatever. So you activate this, make your link monster zero. So now the, the contact C, they won't be able to ca crash the contact C into your monster. So it's a little trick that you can use. Uh, that's like, like a little advanced play that you can like trick your opponent. So uh, then you can just protect your uh, link monster with like, bailing. So then we have Will. Will has uh, two effects, but you can only activate one of the effects per turn. So um, you can special summon one monster from hand or graveyard. So during the main phase, this is a continuous spell. So this card is one of the best cards in the deck, honestly. So um, so you have the option to uh, special summon any Salamon Grave monster either from your hand or from the graveyard, and it does not target. So keep that in mind. A lot of people say, oh, I'm a, I'm a special summon a gazelle. And they're like, did he crow? And you're like whoa that, that's crazy but you're not supposed to tell them what you're gonna special summon okay so uh you what you tell them is i'm gonna activate will effect do you have a response and then they can change something but then you can just pick a different target you know because it doesn't target so and then the second effect is that if you control a relinked salamangrate monster you can uh the target that relinked monster destroy this from your side of the field send it to the graveyard then you can special summon uh, Salaman Great Monsters in defense position up to the link rating of the relinked monster. So, for example, let's say you control Sunlight Wolf relinked. You activate the second effect of Will, uh, pop it, destroy it, target the Sunlight Wolf that's relinked. Then you can special summon two 
Salaman Grave monsters in defense position because uh, this is a link two relink monster, right? So if you control a link three, like a Hitler that's relink, then you can special them up to three Salaman Grave monsters in defense position. So, uh, and keep in mind, since they have to be in defense position, you cannot special summon out link monsters because link monsters cannot go into defense position. However, the first effect you can special summon out link monsters because you can only special summon out one and it can be an attack or defense position. So it's up to you. So uh, then we have the one of the best cards also in the deck, which is Rage. Rage is so good because it has two effects. One, uh, they basically do similar things, but the first one is send one Salamagri monster from your hand or face up field to the graveyard then target one card on the field destroy it so you send one either from your field or from your hand then target a card on the field destroy it uh however the second effect is pretty cool because it says target one salamon gray link monster you control that was link summon using a monster with its same name as materials destroy cards your opponent controls up to that monster's link rating so uh you can only activate one rage per turn so uh, what that means basically is like let's say you control a relinked wolf so uh, you activate rage you target your relink wolf and then you ask your opponent do you have a response because it doesn't target um, and then you can pop up to two cards that your opponent controls because uh, this is a link two monster that's relinked so if you control like a relink three like a hit leo then you could pop up to three cards your opponent controls so that's very cool right um uh, then we have the roar. Roar is pretty cool. You can only activate one roar per turn. This is a, a uh, an omni negate, sort of like a solemn judgment in a way. So when a spell trap card or monster effect is activated while you control a salamon gray link monster, it doesn't have to be relinked. It, it's a, it just has to be a link salamon gray monster. Uh, so negate the activation and if you do destroy that card. While this card is in the graveyard, if you if you if a Salaman Gray Link monster is link summoned to your field using a monster with the same name as materials, you can set this card or banish it when it leaves the field. So if you relink one of your Salaman Gray monsters while this is on the field, uh, while while this is on the graveyard, you can set this um, you can set it from your graveyard. So and then it gets banished when it leaves the field if you activated this effect. So little thing to keep in mind now we're gonna go into the extra deck section of the uh deck so we're gonna go with bail links what bail links does when it's link summon you can add sanctuary and the second effect is that uh when one of your salamon grade cards will be destroyed by battle or card effect you can banish this card from the graveyard instead keep in mind that this cannot be negated so uh they cannot solemn strike or they cannot like Appaloosa negate the the second effect of Billings because it's an instead effect so uh, it does not activate basically so keep that in mind so whenever people want to do something like Appaloosa negate bailing second effect they can't do that so um, the other thing to keep in mind is also it says card or card so what that means is that let's say you have four attack position salaman grade monsters and they activate lightning storm try to destroy all four of them all you have to do is banish this and it protects all four of them because um it says card or cards so it only protects them during that thing so if they activate another like a dark hole after that then they will be destroyed so you can only activate it once per turn so now we're gonna go with sunlight wolf which is it's such a crazy card honestly because all it requires is two fire effect monsters if a monster is normal or special summon to the zone this card points to except during the damage step you can add one fire monster from your graveyard to your hand but for the rest of the turn you cannot normal or set or special summon monsters with the added monsters name so uh this card is good because when you normal special summon to the zone uh this link monster points to you can add either a flame buffer low from the graveyard to your hand you can add a gazelle you can add any of your salamon green monsters uh you can also add uh an ash blossom or something like that you can add like a fire kaiju as well uh so yeah this card is insane and also another thing is that if you return something like uh another copy of sunlight wolf or if you return like a uh, heat leo then you can special summon that later on that turn you can because as long as it doesn't get put in your hand um, you can still special summon it later on that turn so um, however if you add something like a gazelle with that effect you cannot special summon it or normal summon it because of the sunlight wolf effect so 
Um, and then the second effect is during your main phase, if you control this card that was Link Summon using a Salaman Great Link, uh, Salaman Great Sunlight Wolf as material, you can add a, a Salaman Great spell or trap card from your graveyard to your hand. So uh, that's why this deck in uh, this deck in the grind game is so good because if you control a, a relinked Salaman Great Wolf, you can add in the graveyard Rage, you can add Roar, you can add Will, whatever you need for the situation. So you, you can essentially activate Rage every single one of your turns because you can just keep adding it back with your sunlight wolf so or or the roar whichever one you need and then we're gonna go with the mirage stallion mirage stallion has two effects the first effect being uh you can detach a material from this card special summon one salamagre monster from your deck in defense position um but keep in mind that when you activate this effect you are locked into fire effects from the remainder of the turn you are not locked out of uh attributes of monsters you can still like special summon like an appaloosa or or an access code even but you just won't be able to activate your effects uh you can only activate fire monsters effects for the remainder of the turn so and the second effect is if this xyc summon card is sent to the graveyard as material for the link summon of a salaman grave monster you could target one monster in the field return it to the hand so it doesn't have to be your opponent you can target one of your own like if you want the gazelle back in your hand you can return it to your hand um, but keep in mind that it has to be XYC summon. So if you summon it, if you summon uh, Mirage Stalio out of something like Will, you won't be able to activate the second effect. So then we have the Helio. Helio is a very good card because it's not once per turn. And whenever this card is Link Summon, you can target a spell or trap card on the field and shuffle it into the deck. So this is good versus the control matchups. Uh, let's see. And then. The second effect is that you, you could target whenever it's relinked, whenever you use a, a Helio to make another Helio, you can target one face up card, one face up monster on the field, and one monster in your graveyard that attack of the first target becomes equal to the other targets until the end of this turn. So, what you can do with this is like, let's say the opponent controls an 8,000 attack monster or something like that. Uh, you use the second effect of Helio, you relinked Helio target like an ash on your graveyard and that that 8000 monster your opponent controls now has zero attack because you, you you're making it the same as the ash in your graveyard or whatever monster you target uh so it's good to getting out of like strong monsters and then we have the trans code uh update jammer and access code package uh this can allow you to attack uh twice with access code uh and i'm gonna be showcasing this combo at the end of this uh, guide um, but a little thing to keep in mind with transcode is that um, whenever you activate the effect of transcode you cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate this effect except cybers monster so it's a little thing to keep in mind so uh, Hira is very popular in some decks some Salaman great decks so you won't be able to special summon out Hira and if you do special summon out Hira previously that turn you won't be able to activate the transcode effect to a special summon, uh, summon from the graveyard so the update jammer allows you to attack twice and then access code we know what access code does pops multiple cards and can get up to 5300 but yeah now we're gonna go into the tech section of this video and this is gonna be some tech options that you can run in your salaman great deck so it's up to you to decide if you want to run this on the side or on the main deck or just not run it at all so yeah this is gonna be the foolish burial for foolish burial is pretty good because you can either send spinny or c archiver and uh their extra extenders or foxy to destroy something like there can only be one on the on the graveyard and if you have uh gazelle in hand that's full combo right there because you send a salaman great monster then gazelle effect triggers and then you can just combo off from there so foolish burial is very good i'd like to run it on my main deck then we have the parallel exceed package which is very good as well because the uh chain blocks the bailings so and this this is an easy rank four so this becomes level four once it's special summon. so whenever you link someone you can special summon this from your hand to a uh zone a link monster points to and then when it's uh normal or special summon, you can special summon a parallel exceed from your deck so uh, and they become level four so this is an automatic rank four so you can run the whole package if you want to uh, 
Uh, then we have Foul. Foul is an extender. Uh, whenever a Salaman Gear monster is normal or special summoned to the field, uh, except during the Diamond Step, you can special summon this card from the hand. Uh, and it also is like a trick star light stage as well because you can send one Salaman Great card from your hand or face up uh, to the graveyard, then target one set spell or trap card. Your opponent controls that set card cannot be activated this turn. So it's good to kind of like bait out back row. Uh, then we have the mole. Mole is actually something that I've been experimenting recently with, uh, because it's an extender. Because whenever uh, during your main phase, if you if you link someone this turn, you can special summon this card from your hand to your zone a linked monster points to. Uh, also, if you control no monsters, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target five Salaman Great cards in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, then draw two cards with so like a pot of greed. So, and you can activate both effects the same turn. So. Uh, then we have the Prohibit Snake, which is, uh, I remember, I can't remember the uh, uh, first place decklist was running this on um, Salaman Great decklist because this is an out to stuff like Winda, Dragoon, or some of these cards that are hard to out on this deck because it says that at the start of the damage step, if your Cyber mo Link monster battles an opponent's monster, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, return that opponent's monster to the hand. So. Uh, it can out stuff like Dragoon because it doesn't target and it bounces. It can out stuff like Winda. So this is something you're going to want to run if you're having a lot of problems like facing Winda. Uh, and, and it also has another effect that you can banish this from the graveyard and target a level 4 or lower Cybers monster from your graveyard add it to your hand. Uh, and you can activate both effects that uh, on the same turn. Uh, then we have the Mirror, Salman Grey Mirror, which... Uh, it's, it's like it has two ways to be special summoned uh, if it is added to your hand except by drawing it You can reveal it and then you can special summon it uh, Also, if you have it in your hand, you can discard a Salaman Great card special summon this card from your hand. So um, You can activate this both effects the same turn so if you control multiple of them I would recommend probably just running one of each one of each one of each one of the of this for even this one as well uh, then the Peril. Peril is one of those cards that you run sp mainly on the side deck because it's only to win on time because it has the effect that uh, when an opponent's monster takes an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand in attack position. If this card is special summon, you can target one Salaman Great monster in your graveyard. This card's attack becomes that target. You can tribute this card, gain 2,000 life points. So it's basically just to win by time. Uh, good against prank kids because prank kids, when they try to win on time, they usually win by a 1500 life point differential because dropsies does uh, gives them a thousand and then lampsies takes away 500 from you so that's 1500 uh that they have on you but this can give you 2000 so it's good in time but i would recommend just putting this on the side deck uh then from the side as well you can either decide to run this on the main or on the side it's up to you i like to run it on the side is the rivalry each player can only control one type of monster Surprise, surprise, all your monsters are cyber, so it just doesn't hurt you at all. And it hurts stuff like Tri Brigade, Prank Kit, um, Virtual World, like all these decks that run multiple types, uh, it hurts them. And then goes in Match, it means that you can only control one attribute. And most, if you were going to run this, I would recommend you not running Parallel Exceed or like um, a lot of the... Uh, uh, it kind of conflicts a bit with C Archiver as well, so it's all up to you. But this can single handedly stop a lot of the meta decks like Sky Striker, Prank Kids, Tri Brigade, even Dragon Link to a certain extent. Uh, if the normal summon out the Safer and they send another card as cost, then they won't be able to go into the Striker Dragon if you flip this on them. So, uh, this is another thing to consider and decide. Is these two cards are very potent, so. Uh, you can run both of them if you want to. So, from the extra deck, we're gonna have the Lingerie Bow. Lingerie Bow it stops the trap card, so it's good against stuff like Invoke the Matica Shadal or Tri Brigade to stop the Revolt. Um, so, it's a very good tech option to run in your extra deck. Then we have the Almirage. You don't see this that much, uh, so it's all up to you. Uh, I know it's a Salamander Gate card, but it's it's not really good in this deck, so it's all up to you. Like if you don't want your stuff to get destroyed by card effect, maybe. Then we have the Splash Mate. Splash Mate uh, is a good extender. It can help you get into access code, uh, so that's very useful as well. But um, but also if you have something like a Falco in the graveyard, and then you you can special summon out uh, Gazelle from your graveyard. 
with Splash Mage, but the effect is negated. But then Falco bounce the Gazelle back to the hand. Special summon a Falco. Then you can normal summon a Gazelle and then activate the effect. Um, but uh, let's see. Then we have the Hira. So Hira is good in the mirror. It's amazing in the mirror. But a lot of the times people will have at least one fire monster in their graveyard. Like an Ash or something like that. So this is a good way to extend. So uh, I recently cut this because I'm not running access code. And uh, there's not really any mirrors going on. Not a lot of people play Salomon Great, even though it's such a good deck. Then we have the K Valid Chimera. This is a good option if you're running something like Super Poly or something like that. Because all it requires is a Salomon Great monster plus a Link monster. So you can uh, use like an Appaloosa or something like that uh, against your opponent. Like you can use their Appaloosa plus one of your uh, Salomon Great monsters and it's GG from there. So then we have the Pyro Phoenix. Pyro Phoenix is. Uh, not a bad option, honestly. I think it requires a lot of testing that I haven't done myself. But uh, whenever um, it's relinked, um, you can wipe their whole board, basically. <laughs> so it's very strong. And it also helps you win on time as well. Because it says uh, you could... Uh, let me see. If a link monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, except during the damage step, you can target one of those monsters and flick damage to your opponent equal to the... To that monster's original attack. So if they don't read this and they uh, link summon, um, then you can just inflict some burn damage and beat them in time. Then we have the Firewall Dragon. Of course, it's the Errata version, but it's still good because you can just bounce, quick effect bounce if it's co linked. So it's another tech option that you can run. Then we have the Appaloosa. Appaloosa, I love Appaloosa because stuff against stuff like Virtual Roll, Drivetron, or a lot of decks that just like. They, they go effect by effect. They can't really like chain block. It's very good. Um, then we have the Underworld, the Goddess. You can run this instead of Appaloosa or instead of Access Code. Or you can just run all of them if you have enough space in your extra deck. Uh, this is uh, like a Kaiju. Uh, so you can use one of your opponent's monsters as material for this. So you can use like the, a Dragoon or something like that as material for this. And they can't negate it. Uh, then we have the Dugaris. Dugaris is very good because it's fire, so you can even activate it after Mirage Stallion resolves. Uh, it helps you draw two. It helps you double the attack of one of your monsters. So it is very clutch. Just remember that uh, your draw phase gets skipped if you activate the effect, so keep that in mind. You may want to disable like auto draw, or if you're playing in person, you just don't draw. <laughs> the Bagushka. Uh, you, you might want to keep in mind like which rank fours help you against which matchups like Bagushka will help you against Zoo or against uh, decks that really are normal summon reliant so uh, yeah it, this, this is such a good card honestly then we have the Time Thief Redoer Time Thief Redoer is good against control matchups like Guru, Altergeist, uh, Eldritch because you're able to take trap cards and uh, control decks usually have a hard time out in Redoer because you can just like flee whatever situation you are in. So, yeah, that will be it for the tech option of this video. And then we're gonna go to the counter section right now. Let's go. All right, this is gonna be the counter section of the video, and I'm gonna show you what some good cards against this deck are, and also where you should use them against them. So if you're playing against this deck, then this is going to be very useful to you. And even if you're playing this deck, then you're going to know what your own weaknesses are and how you can play around them. So, yeah, let's get started. So Nibiru is going to is like the bane of the existence of Salaman Great. Everybody knows the meme that doesn't matter what combo line you take, you end up on Nibiru. So uh, cross hat Designator does help out a bit against the, the Nibiru issue. So you're gonna wanna keep that in mind. But it's, if they don't draw the cross out, then you can just wait until the end of their turn to activate this um, because they usually summon like 10 or more times per turn. So then Dimensional Shifter is very good against this deck because uh, even if they are running stuff like cross out designator, they're more than likely not gonna be running Dimensional Shifter to negate that. So because not a lot of not a lot of decks can run this card. So if your deck can afford to run Shifter, then run it. Because Salomon Great usually just passes turn because they don't want their their cards to get banished. So they kind of need them in the graveyard or in their hand. 
Uh, same thing for Dimensional Fisher. It banishes all their monsters. They they really don't want to play against this card because uh, that means that they cannot just like recur all their resources. So Lightning Storm is very good because usually they have like two or three set cards at the end of their turn plus their field spell. And remember that they cannot protect with Bailing's face down Salamite Great cards. They have to be face up. So even if they have like a Rage and a Roar set, they won't be able to protect it with Bailing. So they're forced to roar the Lightning Storm. So uh, then we have Cosmic Cyclone is good because it's a one for one trade. So you can just like hit one of the unknown trap cards. Or if you know what it is, then you can just banish it. Uh, and then you won't have to worry about like uh, them recurring their rage or their war, you know. Then we have the Imperm. Uh, if you have Imperm, you're going to want to hit either the Gazelle or the uh, Mirage Stalio. So just depending, you're going to want to read the situation. Uh, but I think those are the best two targets. You can also wait for the Sunlight Wolf effect. Uh, like if they pitch something like a Rage with Gazelle, then you can, uh, whenever they relink Sunlight Wolf tries to add back the Rage, then you can just hit it with Impermanence, but it's all up to you. So Sunlight Wolf is a good target to hit with this, uh, Gazelle and Mirage Stalio. So then we have Bailings, the same thing as well. Um, then we have Tiding. Tiding is very good, or anything that bounces like a Compulse is good against this deck because, uh, they're... They are surprisingly very uh, normal summon reliant because that gives them access to the field spell through bay links and also uh, if they send a salmon grade monster by link summon or something if they have gazelle already in hand and gazelle triggers but they won't be able to do that if you bounce the normal summon so tiding is very good against this deck ash blossom ash blossom i would recommend you saving this for like once again for either the gazelle or the Mirage Stalio, so it's very good. Bell, I would probably say save this either for the Spinny or Foxy or the Sunlight Wolf. Uh, any of those are very good, uh, depending on. Usually, you want to try to go for the one that gives you the most issues. So if you if you can't deal with like a trap card, then wait for the Sunlight Wolf effect uh, to add back from Grave. Uh, but if you can't deal with something like um, a Dweller, then wait for the Jaguar effect from Grave. So they won't be able to get a level 4 on the field. So DD Crow is good against, like, you can banish the Trap cards from the Graveyard. You can banish the, sun, the, the Jaguar. You can banish the Spinny, the Foxy. So many targets that you can hit with this. Um, I would probably just say wait for whatever, like, once again, whatever you have issues against. If you can't deal with the Dweller, wait for the Jaguar. Banish the Jaguar. If you can't deal with a trap card like a rage or a roar then wait for that if they dumped it with gazelle cyber dragon is good especially if you're running chimera tech on the extra deck because you can just contact fuse the link monster uh usually the one i end up on a relinked sunlight wolf and that that will most likely be on the extra monster zone so you can just contact fuse the sunlight wolf and they won't be able to activate the rage second effect uh, and if they don't have a link monster, another link Salamander Grey monster, they won't even be able to activate Roar. So this is very good. Same thing with Kaiju, just get rid of their links because they usually need this to, uh, they need them to activate the trap cards. Uh, then we have the Dark Killing V1. They're all cybers, so this hurts the deck a lot. The way they can play around it is with Foxy. So uh, if you're playing against this deck, they try not to get rid of their there's Salaman great monsters that's already in the field because if their field is clear that means that if they get foxy on the grave they, they're gonna be able to pop that there can only be one so a little thing to keep in mind and then we're gonna go with the extra deck some good extra deck counters to this deck seals same concept with tiding this deck is normal summon reliant they need to go into the bailings they need to get stuff into the graveyard so just bounce the normal summon uh whatever it is um whether it be buffalo or like a foxy or something just just bounce it uh dragoon same thing you have a couple of ways to out it uh mainly it being through access code but that means that you have to have all your plays go through which can like if you have another interruption plus dragoon that's usually enough to seal the deal like if you have like an ash blossom plus dragoon that usually seals the deal so Dweller is very good against this deck because a lot of the effects, Jaguar, Foxy, Spinny, uh, a lot of them activate in the graveyard. It's not a complete turn skipper depending on what they draw. 
but it's very good like it handicaps him a lot so uh then we have the camera attack mega fleet same thing like if you run a cyber dragon you can just contact fuse their uh monster that's on the extra monster zone and it's a wrap from there but yep that will be it for the counters and then now we're gonna go with a combo guide and then after the combo we're gonna I mean, be showing you guys what i think the best deck list is for the current format so it's gonna be the first combo out of the two combos that i'm gonna show you guys this first combo is gonna be focusing on what this board tries to do going first and then the second combo is how to otk your opponent where you go second so yeah let's get started so obviously this is a good hand because we have access to gazelle so this is uh something that you may want to try to do when going first so we're going to start out by normal summoning a gazelle effect to send any salaman great card from deck to graveyard we're going to send a copy of our spinny now we're going to go ahead and activate our spinny to special summon itself since we control a salaman great monster we're going to go ahead and overlay both of those for our Mir mirage stallio then we're going to activate mirage stallio effect detaching a gazelle to special summon out a salaman great monster from the deck we're going to special summon out our jaguar in defense position then we're going to go ahead and link that off for a copy of bailings Bailing's effect will add our field spell from deck to our hand. Now we're going to go ahead and activate our sanctuary. We're going to go ahead and link both of these off for a sunlight wolf. Then we're going to go ahead and activate a our jack jaguar in the graveyard. Returning our mirage tally to the extra deck. Special summon is out. Effect of sunlight wolf. Since a monster got summoned to a zone this points to i can add a fire warrior from the graveyard a fire uh monster from the graveyard so we're gonna add our gazelle we're gonna put that back in our hand so we're gonna go ahead and real we're gonna link that uh jaguar for a bay links and then what we're gonna do is since sanctuary lets us relink once per turn uh, we're gonna relink re that sunlight wolf for another copy of sunlight wolf and then what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna activate our will we're gonna activate the second effect of will destroying this targeting this as this is relinked we can special summon up to two we're gonna special summon out our jack jaguar and our spinny and then we're gonna go ahead and activate our sunlight wolf effect since it's relinked we can add a spell or trap card salamon grade from the graveyard to our hand we're gonna add that copy of will then we're gonna go ahead and use all of this for our Appaloosa, we're gonna have three counters. Then we're gonna be able to set the roar. So now this roar is live because we control a Salaman Great Link monster. And we have what we started with. We started with our Gazelle and our Will in our hand. So we didn't lose anything in this combo, but we ended up with a Sanctuary, an Appaloosa, a Bailing, and we have some more follow up in our graveyard with our Jack Jaguar and our Spinny. Uh, so yeah, that's usually what you want to try to do going first. That's one of the things that you can try to do. Um, so yeah, that's it for the first combo. And now let's go to our second combo. All right, and so it's going to be combo number two. And this is going to be focusing mainly on going second on how we can OTK our opponent and pop three cards. Uh, so we're going to be using Nibiru as the three cards that we can pop because you know how much we hate Nibiru, right? So in order to perform this combo, all you need is three effect monsters. Uh, with two of them being level two or higher cyber effect monsters so keep that in mind so uh this is all we need uh you can do it with multiple monsters in your deck but this is what i'm gonna use for this one so we're gonna be normal summoning out our jack jaguar we're gonna link that off for our bailings we're gonna activate bailings effect to add a copy of the sanctuary from deck to our hand so we're gonna go ahead and activate the sanctuary now we're gonna go ahead and uh relink our bailings since our sanctuary list is relink now we're gonna go ahead and activate the jack jaguar effect putting back our bay links to special summon out the jack jaguar now we're gonna activate the spinny effect to discard this targeting our jack jaguar now we're gonna activate the second effect of spinny to special summon this to the field but it's gonna get banished when once it leaves the field now since we have access to our three monsters with two of them being uh cyber is level two or higher monsters now we can perform the combo so this gets banished uh we're gonna go into our update jammer 
of the jammer has this cool effect that says that if this card is sent to the graveyard as link material that link monster can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn so that's going to be one of the key parts to our otk combo so we're going to go ahead and link those off for a link three which is going to be our transcode transcode effect we're going to activate the transcode effect to target a link three or lower cybers link in the graveyard to a special summon it keep in mind that you can only activate this effect if you haven't special summoned any other type of monster except cybers monsters since we've only been special summoning out uh, cybers monsters then we can perform this combo so now uh, we're gonna go ahead and use both of these to go into our access code and we're then we're gonna do chain link one update jammer and chain link two access code so access code is gonna be able to get target our transcode so it gains three counters so now it's a 5300 and now update jammer is gonna go through which means that this access code can attack twice during this battle phase so now we have three different attributes of link monsters in the graveyard which means we can activate access code effect three times one two three so we're gonna be able to pop all three of the nibiru's uh, keep in mind that it can be spell or trap cards or monsters. So we're going to be able to pop all three of them. And then our access code is going to be able to attack twice. 5,300, that will equal to 10,600. So, yep, that is the second combo. So, that's going to be focusing when you go second. But, uh, yeah, now we're going to go to the deck list, which I think is going to be the best deck list for the current format. Let's go. All right, this is going to be the deck list section of the video. So it's going to be the last section of the video where uh, this is what I think is the best deck list for the current format. And I've been working on this for quite some time. So, um, yeah, this is it. I'm going to go the rundown. Ash, you can recycle them with your wolf. So uh, you can use this multiple times. Uh, Flame Buffalo and one Lady Debug. I mean, Flame Buffalo is just superior than Lady Debug. But at least you want to have access to like one Lady Debug because it's also a starter. Can search out gazelle so uh then we're gonna have the triple nibiru i believe it hits almost every meta deck at the moment uh it can even hit like stuff like tri brigade or virtual world if they're not playing around it and drytron as well if they're not playing around it so then we have the parallel exceed because it gives us access to our dweller uh same thing with falco uh so falco can set our spell and trap cards and also it can put back our gazelle back in our hand the foxies to get rid of problematic cards like there can only be one gazelle no explanation needed one jaguar one spinny um i mean one jaguar three spinny two c archivers i upped the count to two because i realized how much i like opening with this card because this plus like spinny or foxy equals into the uh mirage stallio and this full combo so i'm i'm i may even consider up in this to three but two i think is the correct number right now then we have one call by the grave one foolish burial absolutely needed three pot of desires one circle one sanctuary you usually want to desires uh after you do your combo unless you really need to desires first like if you don't have any starters or anything but you usually want to desires after you do like your gazelle dumps your search for the sanctuary that way you don't like banish anything that you really need circle sanctuary two wheels um i decided to cut this back to two i was running three on my first place decklist profile but um I like two because I don't like multiple. I don't like opening multiple of these. I just want to see one in my hand. Um, open multiples kind of sucks. Double rage, double roar because we don't want to banish multiple of them with uh, desires. And then triple strike. I love strike. Like I've, I considered taking this out once, and then I realized how much this wins me games, and I just put them back in. I love strikes, honestly. I prefer this over sign and mining any day of the week. Any day of the week, honestly. That's why I'm not running sign and mining. Um, then for the side deck, we have Triple Lancia against Virtual World, Tri Brigade. Um, so many matchups. If Dino ever becomes popular again, this is going to hit the Dino matchup. Droll versus Drytron versus Virtual World. Um, then we have the crossout designators. We're not running a crossout designator like extra deck. I mean side deck with the one ups. We're mainly worried about Ash and Nibiru, which are like our main enemies of this deck. So uh, as long as we can cross out the Nibiru, we should be fine, you know, or the Ash. Uh, then we have the triple twisters. Like I said, this is, I think, the best removal in the game. Plays uh, against stuff like Imperial Order or Anti-Spell Fragrance, stuff like that. 
Uh, then we have the Gozen match because this deck can just dance around Gozen match and it hits so many key matchups like Tri Brigade, Prank Kids, uh, you name it. So then we have the Triple Bay Links, one Link Reboot to combat some of the punishments and schisms or revolts. Uh, then we have the one Hira. I considered taking out Hira, but then I thought about it and I'm like, uh, we don't want to lose to a contact C, right? So. Uh, just another thing that uh, we just don't want to lose against a lot of like random uh, stuff and this can this is an extender that uh, Can help us get to access code like if they have like a link to or something We can just make access code pretty easily. So uh, Then we have the, the three sunlight wolves. Uh, no explanation needed the one helio uh, You may consider taking out the Hira, put in another helio just whatever you prefer, but one kind of does the job does the job I, I like keep debating whether i want two helios or a hira and a helio but so far i'm liking the hira and helio but it's up to you then we have our transcode package uh, update jammer transcode and access code because this is our otk combo that i just showcased uh, we need this when we go second then we have an appaloosa when we go first then we have the mirage stallio uh, for xyz rank three uh, no explanation needed. Even if this comes back to two or three, I'm only gonna be running one because we can just recycle it with our Sunlight Wolf or our, or our Jaguar. So, and then we're running the one Dweller, which I think hits almost every uh, meta deck. Sky Strikers, Dragon Link, Prank Kids, Tri Brigade, you name it. So, Dweller is clutch against the meta, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for sticking around until the end of the video. That was a long video, but it was totally worth it and I had lots of fun doing it, but if you stuck around until the end of the video, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. It helps this channel out a lot. And I've been noticing your support and it means the world to me. But as always, this is Yara here and I will catch you on the next video. Take care.